22nd, 2008, Oral History. Uh, and uh, today we are interviewing a very lovely lady who has a wonderful story to tell about her uh, father and her family uh, who uh, were all fishermen and uh, all buried at sea and has a, a wonderful legacy to her father. But first, uh, let her introduce herself. Uh, uh, what is your name, please? Um, Evelyn uh, Rosemary um, Parker Boyle. Okay. And uh, who were your parents? My parents were Stedman Anthony Parker uh, Jr. and De Denise uh, Bianca De Giovanni Parker. Okay. And when was that picture taken? Uh, Approximately. This was taken uh, when they were married. Um, when they were married. 27 years in Miami, Florida. Okay. They were married 1919 in London, England, um, just after the war. Okay. And tell me something about about your uh, your uh, grandmother. What did, what uh, what did she do in London? Um, that was my mother. Oh, that was your mother. I'm sorry. I'm and sorry. She was, a, she was a ballerina on the London stage. Okay. And my father met her and uh, was just fell in love with her and uh, married her and uh, brought her to the United States. How wonderful. Well, do you have a photograph of your mother and father when they were young? I, excuse me. Yes, this, your, this is, that's this your is, mother and father when they were young. I'm yes. sorry. And when they and, were and when they were twenty seven years, years also. Old. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. And um, when uh, when uh, uh, who are your grandparents? My grandparents are Henry uh, John Henry Parker and Hetty Melinda Futch Parker. Oh, you're, you're so you're akin to the part of the uh, Hutches then. Hutches, yes. Okay, and uh, when was your uh, when were they uh, they born? What um, was their era? My grandfather was born September nineteenth, eighteen seventy five, in um, Milledgeville. Oh, Milledgeville, yes. Milledgeville uh, in Hancock County, Georgia. And he married um, Melinda, Hetty Melinda Futch, on May the 30th, 1895, at um, City Point, Brevard County, Florida. And he died January 3rd, 1944, Port Orange, of uh, Volusia County, Florida. Okay. And Hetty. Hetty uh, was born July 26, 1878, in Tallahassee, Clay County, Florida. She married on the 20, May 20, 30, 30, 1895, to John Henry at uh, City Point, Brevard County, Florida. And she died um, February 21st. 1945, Fort Pierce, uh, St. Lucie County, Florida. Okay. And uh, can you tell me something about, uh, you have another photograph of them when they were much younger? Uh, this is my grandfather and my grandmother. Oh, how handsome. <laughs> John they Henry. were young. Okay, and this is what she looked like, a beautiful couple. Well, tell me something about them. Did uh, did they did you did you um, uh, did they live here in Brevard County? Uh, they lived in Port Orange when I was a child, and I don't remember before that. Okay. Because I moved to Miami, <clears throat> Florida, um, when I was about uh, three or four years old, so I don't remember much about this area. Okay. Now you have something else that's just wonderful. And uh, that is uh, about your family. You have another uh, uh, wonderful photograph of some of the relatives uh, that was taken, I believe, in Sebastian. 
And uh, from left to right, uh, could you tell me who they are? Uh, Jenna Cohen, Cohen, Co I'm sorry, Colson Parker, and my um, uncle, I mean, uh, my father's uh, brother, uh, John Lewis Parker, and then John Henry Parker is my grandfather. She married, he married Hetty Melinda Fudge Parker, and then uh, the other person is Ida William Parker Fudge, F Finley, excuse me. Finley, okay. And, um, and Mrs. William Andrew Finley, and next is uh, Archie Lewis Parker and his wife, Jen, Jen, Brenda Brown Parker, oh, sorry. Uh, that's okay, <laughs> all right. And then uh, you have a, a wonderful collection that you have made of uh, your family members on this board. And let's start at the top with that beautiful smiling face that's up on the the um, uh, on your left hand side there. Tell us who that is and what that says underneath. It's my mother uh, coming from London, England with my father after they were married and they were on the USS uh, Louisville um, and it was a windy day so the expression was quite genuine because uh, she was taken by surprise and uh, then the next picture is her later on um, in, when we lived in Miami and uh, my next picture is my grandmother um, Rosa De Giovanni Maloney and uh, she lived in, uh, died in 90, uh, 1949 and she was my grandmother. Okay. The next picture is my sister Linda and myself and my other sister Gloria. Okay. This is when, I guess, 50s, 40s? Probably the, the 60s. Yeah, 1974 it says on the oh, top. Oh, okay. See, okay. I, I'm not yeah, even reading That's okay. And, and then, then my Uncle Pass, uh, that was my mother's brother. Okay, that says 1930, so that's good. And then my um, um, a picture of us standing in front of the school we went to. Uh, we lived on 24th Street, I think it was, in 1939. Ah. And that's Gloria, um, myself, and my sister Linda, and my brother Ted. Uh -huh. And let's drop down there. And this is another picture in Miami. Um, I guess this was, oh, here it is, 60, 67. 67. Myself, my sister Gloria, my mother, um, and my sister Linda. Uh -huh. And then we went to our uh, 50th anniversary of the high school we went to in Miami <laughs> Edison. And uh, one of the guys was dressed up like a cheerleader. <laughs> okay, and then the one next to that, up at the top, next to it. This yeah. one? Mm -hmm. um, this was um, in Miami, 1970. And my brother Ted, my mother, my sister Linda, and her husband Tommy, and Gloria. That was my, sis my mother's birthday okay. celebration. Okay, and then we're going over uh, to the, uh, uh, yeah, to that one there. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the one uh, that was taken of my daddy and mother um, 1919 when they came from uh, London to the United States. And then after that, this was these two uh, smaller pictures. They were married 27 years and that's my father and my mother later. Uh -huh. Now let's go over here. This is a lovely photograph too. This is on their wedding day. This is their wedding day. And what a beautiful photograph. That's February 15th, 1919. Yes. Very nice. And then this is when they were, he was in the service. Uh, the, uh, this was the uh, Merchant Marine uniform now. 
Uh -huh. um, in between uh, the First World War, he was in the First World War and then he was in the Second World War, but in between he was a merchant marine and there he is, a captain of the merchant marine. I see. And this was uh, 1942. Okay. Now, uh, wh who is this lovely lady with the two children in front of uh, the doorway there? That's my mother. And my sister Linda, she was just born in London, England on March 4th, 1932. And that's me at two years old. How oh, oh, that's adorable. And then the next one is your beautiful mother again. Mother, when uh, she was holding Anita, she only lived nine, nine months. And that was 1920. 20. Okay. And then the next one is? It's 1942, Captain Stedman Parker and Denise Parker. Okay. Now let's go down to the bottom there. Who is that right there? These? That's the family. Yes. <laughs> well, my husband, Frank, my brother-in-law, Tom, my son, Francis, my brother, Ted, and Michael, my brother's brother, a son, and this down here is my daughter, Linda, and my other son, Neil. Very nice. And then over here is my brother and his wife, Doris. This is Doris here and Doris there. And this is their three children, Denise, Karen, and Michael. Mm -hmm. And then we had a group picture here of my sister, Linda, my son, Neil, her daughter, uh, Colleen, uh, my son Francis, and Mike, uh, my sister's uh, son. There's my mother, and that's me. This is Eileen, Linda's uh, do youngest daughter, and that's my youngest daughter, Linda. And this is Pat, uh, holding the dog. <laughs> uh, my sister's, uh, she had four children, and I had three. And my brother had three, so my mother called it her ten grand. <laughs> now let's go all the way over here and right there, the, the little children right there. Uh, this is 1935, uh, Gloria and Ted, <laughs> and that's me and my sister Linda uh, in, uh, in Daytona, uh, where we lived then. And the next one is you as your young lady. In high school. Oh, how sweet. That's adorable. Uh, 90, of 1942, and then my dad. And then, here and, comes And he was ferrying uh, planes over to Africa uh, for the, uh, to, to fight this in the Second World War, and uh, they were B-25s, I think. No, B-24s. B-24s. He was ferrying over to Africa. Okay. Well, that's a lovely uh, family portrait uh, that you have there. And um, our next uh, subject is we're going to uh, have the wonderful story of, uh, about your father and uh, uh, the wonderful contribution uh, that he made to the state of Florida and also uh, for all of us to enjoy today. Okay, we're going to talk about your father now, which I know is uh, uh, just absolutely wonderful story. Uh, tell me what this board represents. This board represents the uh, history of my father uh, when he was a young boy and he discovered the uh, galleon at, at the at the um, Sebastian uh, Sebastian uh, inlet. inlet, the old Sebastian Inlet. And uh, this is the map that he had, uh, that he had uh, got, I don't know how he got it, but anyway, he had this of the, Flor of the Florida, and uh, this is him as 14 years old when he was, um, when he first saw the uh, old galleon at the old Sebastian Inlet rotting away. And then this one is um, him in the Air Force air ferrying the, um, B-24 is over to Africa, and this is his captain's uh, license, a mariner. Uh, he was a, a captain in the Merchant Marines, and this shows him looking for the treasures um, at the different places they were. Um, they went, the, the uh, galleons went down, 
um, on during, the beach at Sebastian and at, 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 at different places. Different yeah, places. Sebastian okay. is one of them. And this is a him in the First World War when he was a pilot over um, France um, and um, fighting the Germans. And here is Uncle, my Uncle Pete, uh, with one of the cannons that Daddy, um, that they brought out of the ocean that they discovered. Wow. And up here is his, um, looking at his old charts and looking at the treasure hunting that he did and his story. And uh, it's all about him and uh, how he went through uh, the different places and tr trying to retrieve the treasures but they eluded him. Um, but anyway, uh, he needed uh, funds to, uh, uh, to help him find the, uh, to, to get the treasures out. Down here you can see the big uh, machines that they used to have to, they had to bring upon the, um, um, at the edge of the water where the, where the ships went down. Uh, and this took finances and he had, um, the chain link um, man uh, was one of the financers, and um, um, uh, F Fish Fisher Mel Fisher Mel Fisher was also one of the financers, and he was able to um, get the uh, treasures out and find them and put them in his place that he has down in, in um, Sebastian. And this and, is me and, this and was my in daddy. <laughs> okay, and this was in 1951? 51, yes. Okay. That's extraordinary. And uh, so uh, he was actually the, uh, did he go, you had told me that he had gone over uh, to, to Spain. Uh, Spain and uh, got a lot of records and everything else, so he knew where they were and what was on them. Yes, he was, and, but most of them, uh, the Spanish had come back and retrieved most of the treasures that they, they got them back themselves. But there was a, pla a few of them that, were, that they did have some coins. I have a couple of coins. Oh, cut. wonderful. Can you cut them? Uh, this is absolutely extraordinary. This is a wonderful coin, uh, and uh, you a have piece it, of eight. a piece of eight, and uh, made a piece of jewelry out of it. Uh, absolutely extraordinary. Look at that, beautiful. And uh, and you and also is, have an, another one. This is a one. piece of four. Piece of four. Look at that. That's that's absolutely wonderful. Let's see where it is. There it is. And that's a piece of four, and that's actually gold. Wow, mm -hmm. isn't that beautiful? Very, very nice, very nice. Beautiful piece. Uh, some other things that you have that are true treasures of your father are these uh, watches. Uh, tell me what each one is. Well, this is the uh, how he would mount it in, on the ship so that it wouldn't shake around or move and be jostled, but it's uh, always set on the Greenwich time, which is five hours earlier than we our time, and it was always set on that time for him to keep the navigational um, information he needed. And then when he would shoot the stars with his sexton, he had the uh, this second hand would, would go around and how many times it, to bring the star to the horizon and that would tell him exactly where he was in the uh, in the ocean, and he was a quite a navigator. Fantastic, and it's amazing that these were uh, preserved all these years. And what do we have uh, underneath this this map? This um, a, this is a, a navigational map, which he ha I have quite a few of them, but this particular one is Saint Augustine to Titusville, and it has three different sections that shows. Uh, the shoreline. Fantastic, and it's quite large also, isn't it? Um, this is a beautiful pho uh, photograph of your father, and when was this taken? This was in uh, 1942 when he was ferrying the um, uh, B-24s over to Africa, and uh, he, w he told the pilot, he said, in 8 minutes and 20 seconds you're going to see the coast of Africa, that's how correct, I mean, how he could measure something right down to the second. 
<laughs> that's, when, when he was navigating. That's fantastic. You also have a yearbook from Fort Pierce Elementary. And uh, what, what is this relative to? Well, this is where he, uh, he went to high school, and, and they had advanced it to uh, also include a, a high school section. And he went to high school there uh, in 19, I think it was 17 or somewhere along in there. I'm not sure exactly the date, but he um, went to high school in Fort Pierce and then went into the Army which that picture over there is the first picture of. Oh, no, this one. This one here. This one here. Aha. Uh -huh. When he first went into the Army. I see. And tell us uh, what, this, uh, what this photograph this represents. This is the beginning stage of, of, of working with um, Magnet uh, to discover the, um, the uh, coins on the beaches and the watches and, the, and all the kinds of jewelry that you could find. But this is the first stage of it where it was um, on a pole and had something at either end to magnify, mm -hmm. to magnet, make a magnet to the, uh, to the coins. But then they got uh, to the stage where it was just a little uh, round thing at the end of a pole. And now, of course, it's uh, even, uh, even smaller than what they've come out with. But this was the first uh, beginning of that. Um, this was in, I think, for. 60. Yeah, this is 1960. Um, and also, we have a uh, very interesting article uh, that uh, to to tells about the lost and found uh, Florida's uh, space coast uh, and uh, Cape Canaveral. Uh, uh, Cape Canaveral. They printed and, that picture, and I said, I have it in my wall. <laughs> and uh, this that was printed in here is uh, actually uh, the map that your father had that is on your wall uh, that is part of this wonderful display that you have about your father and it's the actual map and where did he get this this I, map I don't remember that part of the story I don't know when when he obtained it but he did um, he had the whole side but my cousin got the other half of it and I don't know where he is now. <laughs> so this is half of it, but it, it shows, actually it shows all of the uh, 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 degrees and... It was uh, called the Gulf like, of Florida. Uh, right, and some of the ships that were on here. And he, he uh, most likely got this when date. he went to Spain. Yes. And it uh, it is uh, in uh, uh, 17... 74. Uh, 74. Uh, and it's the part of East Florida, and right there it says that it's 1774. This is beautiful. And then you also told me about this gentleman who is in this photograph right here, uh, uh, which is a tremendous photograph. And uh, he was the first ranger at Pelican Island, I believe. Yes. Do you, and what was his name? Um, Paul... Um. Cole, Cole, Cone, Paul Cone, in uh, three, uh, March 14, 1903, he was the first um, um, ranger, ranger for Pelican Island. And, uh, and uh, that is him with your father. and uh, Right here. Yeah, right there. And that was taken in 51 when they was working on it. Uh, this, your, also, your father was also um, a commercial fisherman. And uh, we understand that uh, uh, he lived down in Sebastian when he was a commercial fisherman. And you have this book and, uh, that has him listed. As uh, well, this is his uh, father and his brother, Cecil. Cecil. Yes. And uh, and they're both listed in this book. And what is the title of this book? Oh, there it is. Tales of Sebastian. More tales of Sebastian. And uh, he is listed in there as one of the first fishermen. And then we also have over here uh, Captain Stedman Park.